Hi, this is Tom Geffers again from College Cash Consulting with a little behind the college curtain uh, opinion and views of what's going on out there in your college uh, searches. I um, wanted to talk today about the uh, FAFSA coming up. October 1st is the starting date. The FAFSA is the Free Application for Federal Student Aid. And regardless of your income, regardless of uh, your credit scores, you should and you must do this uh, application to get any kind of financial aid, any kind of grants, any kind of merit aid. It's all starting out with that uh, FAFSA form. So just be aware of that. It's coming up October 1st. And what you can do now at this point in September is to start to get some of your ducks in a row. Meaning that, you know, get your account numbers, uh, if you have any investments, mutual funds, that type of thing, get your account numbers, get the balances in those accounts because those are the type of questions they will be asking. Um, you don't have to worry too much about your tax returns because they're looking at 2017 at this point, which should be done and no guesswork on that. And there's actually a link where you can just pull over your uh, tax returns to the FAFSA form. So you don't have to worry too much about uh, you know, working on your taxes, but get the other accounts uh, in line and get a, uh, a FAFSA ID, a password, and you should have that before you start the process. Make sure you have a, an ID that you can remember or write it down and save it. Very important to use for the coming years as well because you have to do the FAFSA every year that you're in college. So the other form that you might have to do is the CSS form. And that is a form that about, I don't know, 350 schools use, colleges use. Usually the private schools tend to be the more elite schools and they dig a lot deeper into your finances. <clears throat> so just be aware of that. Uh, they will be looking at your uh, retirement funds. They will be looking at any equity in your home, equity in any rentals you may have. So they do a much deeper dive into your finances than the FAFSA form. FAFSA form does not look at the value of your home or the equity of your home, so you don't have to worry about that. They will ask you the question of what it's worth, but they do not consider that when they're looking at uh, financial aid. So just be aware of those two forms, kind of get your ducks in a row, as I said, so you're not you know, running around the last minute uh, looking for information. And we always tell people to do it as soon as possible after October 1st. Um, the early bird gets the money, we like to say, because uh, you wait until it's the winter or the spring and a lot of schools have already uh, doled out their financial aid and their scholarships and such and grants. So you want to get in there early to be uh, considered for that money. Okay, that's uh, it for today on those two forms. Again, my name is Tom Geffers, College Cash Consulting. We have an ebook available uh, that we can send you uh, through the email, 25 page ebook that might help you out. My email is tom at college cash consulting. That's it for now. Thank you.